My name is Kurt Ackerman, and uh, I have a blog about um, sustainable travel and the travel industry in South Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa. I also am a um, travel strategy, technology, and new ventures consultant in the region, so I work with a wide range of organizations and companies. Now, I think with travel technology, there's always an issue of the kind of technical infrastructure and the costs associated with that um, that are happening in, in a developing economy in a place like, like Southern Africa. Um, so it's often a challenge to deal with the sort of um, trends, technology, the assumptions that are made about markets, about infrastructure, um, and then take that and apply it to an environment like South Africa. I think it's relevant for other developing economies as well, where you have a lot of first world infrastructure, but then you also have serious third world infrastructure and issues. We also have different political dynamics. We have different, as I said, market dynamics. Um, and so one of the things I look for here is a sort of information insight that I can link back to the realities that travelers and that clients of mine face. Um, I think a lot of the challenge has to do with infrastructure and the cost associated with infrastructure. So for example, the South African telecommunications market with landlines had a monopoly operator. Only now is there a second operator that's been licensed and is rolling out. So the cost of a fixed landline call is exorbitantly high. Um, we also have uh, four mobile phone companies that are competing, so the mobile platform is much more competitive, much more widely used, um, mu and much more relevant to the day-to-day -day lives of all South Africans. So the poorest people in South Africa tend to have a cell phone. That fundamentally changes the dynamics of how you go about reaching people, how you communicate with companies. Uh, people don't have PCs, they've got cell phones. Um, also issues associated with language, you know, so English is, is a language, but I've got 11 official languages that my clients need to deal with. So what does that mean about technology development, multilingualism, and, and all those other issues?